let's bring in an entirely new concept into our application. Let's talk about sending emails. It's a very important part of most applications that we notify users of different events that have happened or just simply sending them a message. Every modern application will need to send an email at some point. Laravel has incredible emailing capabilities and it makes it very, very simple. In this episode, let's explore through that. The first concept I want to bring you to is the mailable concept. A mailable concept is the entire package that Laravel has put together for sending an email. The way that it does it is using the views. The same way that we are used to something like customer.index view, we can now generate a view, which is an HTML email that gets sent out to the customer. There are several different parts to how to actually make this work because most of the time you're going to be using a service to send the actual email. We'll get to that at the end. But first, let's create one of these mailables. If we jump into the terminal, we can say PHP artisan help make mail. So this creates an email class. Every mailable will have a class as well as, of course, the template that you're going to be sending to a particular email address. Now in Laravel, you can send just a raw email, but it's not very common to do that. So I simply want to show you the markdown version of that. So notice that we have this dash M flag. Whenever we pass that, it actually creates a mailable, which is really what we want. So let's start hacking through this, and I think it'll make a lot of sense as we run through it. The command will be PHP artisan make mail. Then we need to give this mailable a name. Let's say welcome mail. And then let's pass that dash M flag. Now the dash M flag does require some parameters, as you see here. And what they are is the address to your view. Very similar to how we did customer.index, let's create a new directory for emails and then just have the name of our mailable. So we could say emails.welcome. So this will generate an emails directory and then it will have a welcome.blade.php. It's going to be a view. It's going to look exactly identical to an HTML view. All right, let's create this and now let's explore what it just did for us. We now have a new mail directory right in here inside the app. And if we open that up, we'll have that class that I was talking about, welcome mail. And it extends mailable. Okay, that's pretty cool. What about this view that I keep talking about? Under resources, let's go into views and close customers. Notice that we now have this new emails directory right here. And inside of there, we do have a welcome.blade. So the first thing I want to show you is how could you render this in the browser? It would be nice to be able to see this email. And Laravel does make that very simple. Let's jump into the web.php file. And anywhere in here, you know what? We'll even reuse this right here. We'll say slash email. Instead of returning a view, return a new welcome email. And notice that I am importing that up here at the top. So you have to put this over the top so that it knows which class this is. So returning a mailable class actually gives you the mailable in the browser. What we would have to do is visit slash email. Let's give that a shot. Go back into Chrome. In my project, I'll go ahead and visit slash email. And there is our mailable. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it already even looks pretty good. Where is this coming from? Well, that's that mailable that I was talking about. This one right here. So notice introduction. Maybe hello from coders tape. There we go. There's our mailable. We'll just say here, welcome to our cool application. And we can get rid of this button as we don't need it. Then we hit refresh. And this could be a very simple welcome email. You may be wondering, where is this Laravel name coming from and how do I change it? What you have to do is change your environment file. Let me close everything up. And if you notice here, you have this .env file. We've kind of already touched it whenever we set up MySQL. Right over the top here, you have app name. It says Laravel. Let's change this to something like cool application. If you're going to have spaces, you are going to have to wrap this in quotations. And now you will need to restart PHP Artisan Serve to be able to actually see that change. 
and I'll stop PHP Artisan Surf and let's go ahead and run that again. PHP Artisan Surf. If you don't do that, then it won't reflect the change. And now we do see the change again. So that's just it. If you don't see the change, it means that you did not restart your PHP Artisan Surf. Okay, well, this is pretty cool, but how do I actually send it? For most of development, you can use something called Mail Trap. And just as a very quick side note here, if you scroll into the mail section of your .env file, notice that Mail Trap is already set up for Laravel. All you need to add is your username and your password. For that, you could create a free account in MailTrap. Why would you use this? Well, this is a testing inbox. This will let you send emails without actually having to send emails. It simply keeps them inside a sandbox so you can do your testing. I've already signed up. Signing up is free, so I'll just simply log in and grab my credentials. And once you are logged in, this is what you're going to see. And here is the username and the password. Now, don't copy my username and password. You need to have your own. Otherwise, you will never see your messages. So I'll go ahead and grab my username and I'll paste that into my .env file and then I'll grab my password and I'll paste that right here. Then the most important step here is you need to stop your PHP Artisan Serve and restart that one more time. Let me go ahead and stop that with Control C and then let me start it up again. Okay, so now my layer of application knows about it. So how do we send one of these mailables? We can simply do it inline right here for now in my web. And you can say mail. And the one that you're looking for is illuminate support facades mail. Make sure that you add this line over the top so that it knows which one is the correct one. Okay, mail. I want to send a new mail to, we'll just say email at email.com. And I want to send them a new welcome mail. And that's it. That's all it takes. I will go ahead and refresh this page here. I shouldn't notice much of a difference. But now when I go into Mail Trap, notice that I do have my welcome mail. And there it is. So this is a nice way that you can test your emails and do everything that you need to do without actually having to send any emails. As one last step, why don't we move all of this logic into my controller so that way when I create a new customer, it sends them an email automatically. How cool would that be? So I'll go ahead and actually comment this out completely as we don't need it. Let me go into my customer controller and in the create section, after I've created my customer, let's send them that welcome email. So we can say mail. And again, that's illuminate support facades mail. Make sure that you import and add this line over the top. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Let's send it to and we're not going to have a hard coded address. We have the customer's email at this point. So we could say send it to the customer email. I want you to send them a new welcome mail. And welcome mail will also need to be imported at the top right here. Make sure you add that line again so that it works correctly. So that's it. Whoops. I put this in the wrong method. Ha. Let me actually cut it out. And it needs to go right here in store. There we go. That's where it needs to go. I'll paste that in. I'll say my name is Victor and this will be Victor at cool.com. I'll add new customer. My customer gets added. I go to mail trap and there we go. We've got a new welcome email for Victor at cool.com. And just like that, our Laravel application is sending out emails. When it comes time to deploying this, you will need to use some sort of service. I would probably recommend Mailgun. That's mailgun.com as they are probably the easiest to set up. This is what will actually give you the ability to send email in your application. Now, Mailgun is free most of the time, up to 50,000 emails a month. All you have to do is create an email and have a domain name so you can send out your emails. But that's a bit of a more advanced topic. But just as a quick side note, this is probably what I would recommend for you to use whenever you're actually trying to send some real emails. But for now, MailTrap will do great. I use MailTrap every single time I'm in development. And then again, in production, you will have to use some sort of service.